you got the hit TV show, that would be enough for most. Silicon Valley, one of my favorite television shows. Hilarious. Then you get the Oscar nomination. 2017 has been an incredible year for you. Yeah, it's been, I would say 2017 has been a global disaster and a personal triumph. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, 2017's been tough. I'm like, yeah, I made a movie and then it got nominated for an Oscar. It's really not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't bring it up all the time. Yeah. I plan on being insufferable, yes. by the way. Yes, yes. I've been a dick for so long and now I have a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to Starbucks and they were like, they're like, what's your name? I'm like, um, Oscar nominee Kamel, please. <laughs> It was very awkward because Daniel Day-Lewis was there too, and he <laughs> said, three-time Oscar winner, Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, and, yeah. Really? I hate it when I go to the same coffee shop as him. <laughs> uh, are you, you now this has got to be changing your life. I mean, you were getting recognized before, you're on a hit show, but now you've got to be getting recognized a lot more. Yeah, I was, uh, I was at another coffee shop and I was just sitting there drinking my coffee. <laughs> And uh, this person came up to me and sh she was very shy and she was like, hey, I was like, hey, and she's like, I don't normally do this, but um, you're so talented. What you do means so much to me. I love you on Big Bang Theory. Um, <laughs> and that's just how famous I am. People think I'm in shows I'm not even in. <laughs> now, what do you do in that situation? I tell them I'm not Mayim Bialik. <laughs> <laughs> I always say the same line. I always go, that's the other one. Um, <laughs> I do, because I'm like, this is your awkwardness. I don't have to deal with this. Right, I, right. I, I used to be like, ah, that's, I'm sorry. But now I'm like, yeah, that's a different one. Um, I wish I was on Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Mm. But in this era of political, you know, correctness and people wanting to say the right thing, those people must feel terrible in that moment. They feel awful. I was at the Critics' Choice Awards a couple of weeks ago, and I won't say who, but a very famous person came up to me and was like, hey, and I'm like, hey, I'm so excited to meet you. And they're like, oh yeah, no, we, we know each other from Big Bang Theory. Oh my God. <laughs> And this was, was a really famous person? It was a very famous person who's done small parts on that show. Uh, and okay, I said... I'm thinking. I'm I thinking. <laughs> There's no way you can come up with this. That was the night our movie won Best Comedy, and I was like, what is it gonna take? <laughs> what is it gonna take? <laughs> I get, you're great on The Daily Show. I mean, this happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I swear. And I, 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 another thing I say is, oh, one of the major clues is that we have completely different faces. Yeah. <laughs>